Hi and welcome back to another Archicad speed modeling quick coffee tip. I show you today how you can add some more segments to the shell tool and some other little bits, you know, how to get the cut. I just have around here, get a round edge and a couple more other things like adding a skylight. All right, let's get going. As a base, I've got uh, some simple walls here. Okay, and I like to just add a nice simple shell first. So we go to the shell tool. I just put some normal settings in. Uh, maybe make the thickness 200 for now. And project zero, make it three meters. And paint 10, Archicad layer, you know what, for now this will do. And we hit okay. So, drawing a shell shape. I'm using this tool, construction method, okay, and this one here. Cool, so I start, I start drawing, and we just keep clicking, and clicking, and click on the same spot again. Extrusion length for now, let's make it six meters. I'll adjust that in a moment anyway. Okay, so what we got at the moment, there you go, so you got your shell, it's all straight, but of course, I clicked a couple of times, I can easily now adjust this. So, we go up here and down here. Just do it a little bit curvy, all right? Maybe move this up a little bit to smoothen it out, down a little bit. Actually, no, I'd rather have this one smoothened out. So, let's go down. Okay, look, this is not too bad. So, we gotta turn this shell now, obviously 90 degrees. I've got, I usually do it in sections or elevations, it's just much easier. So, you select this one and you go up with current view settings. There's my shell. You just click it and simply rotate it because I move it around after. There you go. Okay. So, back to my 2D and let's move it overlapping there and now we stretch this okay cool so the first thing is as you can see if I zoom in it's very segmented because it's a default setting Archicad has to make this more smooth I show you how to do this with this option so I'm going to my section Uh, the other one, yeah, take this one. All right, so what you do is you draw a polyline exactly where I had those polygons from the shell, okay? So you go there, you see the cursor goes black, so you know you're exactly on it, see the cursor black, and there again. So that's just the polyline. And obviously now I do it exactly to the same arc. All right, so you copy this, we go back to our um, ground floor and I paste this in. Okay, now instead of taking the shell tool and click along, we use the magic wand tool. And this is where you can add a lot more um, resolution to it. You can see you've used it before probably, you, it depends on the setting I'm using here. And um, for this one now, I keep it on segments along arcs at 36. Click OK and now if I use my magic wand tool, there you go. So if you now go in there, you can see obviously already there's a lot more segments in there. I mean a lot, a lot more. Okay. So in 3D maybe, show you that too extremely smooth now I mean way way smooth you can zoom in and it still looks pretty good don't overdo it okay but that's the way you actually add some more segments to a shell for my tutorial purpose I'll leave it at this you know we can delete this now because you know how to do it I'm gonna show you just a couple of add-ons what you can do with the shell before I go so as example Going to 3D. 
so we got this shell now and you like to cut the shell a bit more you know along the front of the facade so what you do is you select the shell you right click and you can say define shell contour so what I do is now I start off with uh, this corner I said, okay no that's good and you just draw along the shell and you define the actual contour so if I go this way and close this off Archicad does a little bit of thinking there you go so if I go now to 3D see that's beautiful cut off a bit more along the facade all right so let you know let's do this and quickly cut them off using this tool current selection all right so this is all cut off now as you can see perfect they're by the way connected to the shell so if I take the shell and I move the shell down it keeps cutting it off okay you can move it up depending obviously how long the wall is if you think you move it out of your wall is not long enough all you do is you just extend the wall like you hold this and you go there and let's make this 10 as example there you go see even if it's 10 up here but it keeps cutting it off now so that's really nice i, I could like that feature to be connected another nice feature is you can actually i don't know if you know but you can easily put some skylights in here so using any of the skylights you got here doesn't really matter you know choose some and let's just start a simple one here and yep that looks all right and we can click them in here so if as example there you go it does do this very nicely in the shell okay cuts them out too and obviously you can do this better on the floor plan you know dragging it there and let's just say oh, another couple there there and maybe one there there you go as you can see it didn't like this one so you have to take this and do it here and you have to rotate this one Okay, let's have a quick look. If that looks any better. There you go. So it depends where the pivot of the actual um, skylight is. But that, that's pretty easy done. All right, so, oh, I almost forgot about this one. Um, and I did the shell contour. You, of course, can also go and smoothen out the, you know, the corner here, as example. Yeah, leave it at four, that's fine. Maybe do the same over here. There you go. So now you have the shell rounded. Okay, which is quite nice. And one more tip there is actually, if you click here, this one. This one turns the, you see the, the contours of the shell, you can adjust it. Okay, I'll show you this in 3D it's easier to see what I'm doing. So you select the shell and again you click on here and you use this, oh, I gotta be on the, this one here, yeah, use this one. So just try to go very slowly. It's a bit hard, but you can probably see how it, how it moves. And I go here. Yeah, this is quite good. You see, look, watch out here. You see how the shell moves? It's just a contour. I can sort of flatten it out as example. See, it's much flatter now. Look at this. And compared to before, if I do an undo step, it's quite curvy. Okay, so that's the contour itself of the shell. You can adjust any time with with this tool here okay set this or this distortion angle that's a hard one all right so yeah like i said flatten it out there you go 
That looks pretty cool. So anyway, so that's um, pretty much it about the quick tip for the shell tool, two segments and a couple more things. I hope you enjoyed this quick coffee tip tutorial and I see you as always back next time. Bye for now.